Hi, this is Neil from New York. Uh, I have a question for Joss. Uh, as someone who's worked in the horror genre for so many years, uh, where do you see the future of it going? Well, the state of horror films is always shifting, and, you know, we made this movie three years ago. Um, right now, there's, you know, a lot of the found footage paranormal activity type movie, which I actually think are kind of great because they're based on scares in, a, in an old-fashioned kind of way. Our, uh, Cabin in the Woods was meant to be an old-fashioned movie, sort of a response to the way movies were at that time really veering into, into torture fests, which neither Drew nor I liked as much as we liked the old-school classical horror movies. So we wanted to take something very old-fashioned and then really tear that to shreds. So the audience would leave with the kind of great scares you get from an old-fashioned horror movie, but at the same time, um, a really new perspective on on where those scares are coming from. Thank you for that. Uh, I have another question for Joss. Uh, what did you do to make sure that this film made it to a theatrical release following the bankruptcy of MGM? Um, when the studio that made the movie went bankrupt, the movie had to be shelved for a while, I knew that it was going to come around. I knew, uh, not to be that guy, but I knew how good it was. I believe in this movie. And um, watching it with audiences at South by Southwest and various places and seeing them respond to it, I knew that somebody uh, would look at the movie and go, this is going to happen. And Lionsgate knew instantly, as soon as they saw it, that they had to get it out of that sort of mire it was stuck in. I never lost faith.